life. Okay, it says that my orientation is locked on my phone. So I guess that's all I can do. Um, <laughs> this is one of the... All right, what would you like to say, Tommy? I, oh, am I interrupting you? I am... Uh, can I show you on camera? Yes. Hi, everybody. Um, I just had a great time at the Fan Expo. It was really cool. And the, the reason I was there was to support and hang out with Njiri and then see LeVar Burton. So that was amazing. Had a moment with him, told him uh, that I really appreciated what, uh, what he's done for our communities because his work on Roots and in many other spaces, uh, Reading Rainbow um, and other things that he will do in his lifetime, um, crosses all these borders and it really is transnational and uh, transformative for a lot of people, including myself. So that was very cool. So I got some nice photographs and uh, a nice autograph as well. And my name spelled correctly, so I was very happy. So I feel very similarly. I, you know, it's, it's funny because like sometimes in some circumstances I feel really nervous and tongue-tied and in some circumstances I do not. In this particular circumstance, I felt quite tongue-tied. Um, it was hard to sort of look at him and say, you're very meaningful to me and what you've done is very was very meaningful to me. So that was difficult. Mm -hmm. And there were so many people around, so many people, um, you know, there to get autographs and pictures. And then the Brent Skinner or Skimmer, the, the yes. actor who plays Data was sitting right beside him. And then William Shatner was also there. So for a hot minute. Yeah. He just, he like minute. came in as soon as people were lined up, he would come in, get the picture and then he would leave. And that was it. Um, which makes sense because he's, what did you say? He's 91. He's 91 years old. So yeah, he's going to come in, do his thing and leave. So do, you know, you already sort of did your do service. You. Do. Do, so it was really, really nice. And now I'm kind of, you know, sitting and thinking about the experience and, you know, it has me thinking about Tommy, like, you know, when you're, you're the only one or one of two or three. Yeah. And people say, you know, we're so glad you're here because by seeing you here, it means I can be here or I can do this or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I'm just reflecting on that because there are a lot of like a lot of areas in my own life where I am the only one or one of three or one of four. That's very true. And I'm often told like keep with it. I know it can be really difficult, but the fact that you're here makes a big difference and it's inspiring. I've said that to so many people and I've just like this morning and this early afternoon I've been thinking about LeVar Burton and the fact that as a kid I didn't really have to go very far to imagine you know a black man who loves stories right i knew my my father uh, is very much like loves telling stories very much so he loved telling stories so i had my father um you know as a day-to-day -day part of my life my uncle really likes to uncle leo tell stories too yeah. um but then like on television it was basically lavar burton right like i mm -hmm. you know um, i can remember true yeah and and in terms of children's television so I've been thinking a lot about that today. So there has been some nostalgia and yeah, um, it's been uh, it's been a good morning. So I'm gonna be uploading some of the photographs and maybe this will, this footage that we took at Fan Expo will end up in a vlog or in one of my videos in the future, but really glad to have had the opportunity to kind of meet him and stuff. So. I think what I'm probably going to do is do a little live on Instagram because those are so easy to do. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. We have a bunch of things happening today. It's busy with celebration. So stay well, read with purpose, and see you next time. Bye. Okay, where do I press end? <laughs> there we go.